Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a new Idol Huntress video. Today will be the DOA Part 2 Event Breakdown. Sorry for not posting it in a while, I have been trying to focus on writing music commissions and schoolwork just so I could afford doing these showcases for y'all. If you guys ever want to help support future showcases, which I'll need that support, uh, down below it will be my Ko-Fi link as well as you can order uh, music commissions from me over on Twitter. Without further ado, let's get into this breakdown. So, for the part 2 of the collab, we have two new light-dark units. We have Misaki, who is the light unit, and we have Honoka, who is the dark unit. Since these are light-dark units, definitely you do want to pass on them if you are not a whale. Uh, they are stronger with their other DOA counterparts, but definitely do not worry about them. Uh, the next video, which will be out shortly, will be a showcase on these two units specifically. The event focuses around shells as the trading currency, and you can collect shells by completing these special event missions. You must use tickets to then complete these missions, which then gives you shells, but in order to get these tickets, you must either spend crystals, spend money, or complete your daily missions. As you can see, if you use one of the banner characters in the party that these missions are played, then you'll get an additional 50%. However, this 50% does not stack if you have both characters, so you will not get a 100% bonus. Like you saw in that little speech bubble, the 50% does not get applied on the first run of each mission. Next, we'll take a look at the League Shop. This is going to be the Exchange Center. That chest, the League Huntress Choice Pack 1, it gives you the option for 24,000 shells to get one copy of either DOA character from this banner. The community discord was kind enough to run all the numbers and we see here all the total shells that you could possibly get from the event. Okay, question of the day is, what do I get from the shop? Okay, so if you want one of the characters, then obviously you get the light dark chest. If you are new to the game, then you get the recruit tickets, so you get those six stars early. If you are trying to get EE30 on a character like Takanaka or Chiyome, then you want to get the advanced elemental stones which is the redstones and if you are past the e30 and trying to get to the 40s or 50s then you get the elemental gems the bigger question is okay what light dark unit do i get well fresh out of the bag misaki is probably the better one her passive allows her to transform into an invincible tank uh, for two turns if she takes fatal damage this is similar to angel however she turns unconscious she can't do any damage but can't take it either uh the alternative is Honoko. She would be better if you plan to get her to 3-star because at 3-star her EE allows her to stack critical to get it to 100%, which is great for PvE content, but you have the price tag of a 3-star light dark unit. So that's those are your choices. Next we have the League Login. After 10 days of logging in, you get 70 recruit tickets and 30 light dark unit tickets. These are great if you want to stock up for Mommy Thor, which should be the ideal if you don't plan to spend on this banner. Next, we have the volleyball mini game. This is different than the last one in the first part of the collab, but you need these tickets. You get to a day, you get the login, and you get the instant reward. When you play the game, we'll play a clip real quick. The game is pretty simple. You just have to play against these bots. You must win two rounds. You just get these QTEs. Make sure you land in the yellow part of the circle. And if you ever mess up like I do here, Oops, it's a miss. You back out of the game and then you just go back in and it didn't use your ticket. There you go. So it went two rounds and you will maximize your points. And then these points offer up rewards and we'll see that in a second. I do enjoy the animations on this little mini game. It's better than previous ones as we get to see the minifigures for both sets of DOA girls. Sadly, I don't think it will ever rerun. Uh, if it does, it'll be like a year. <laughs> so if you want these characters, you need to get them now if you want to just to collect them. But it is a shame that a lot of the synergies that uh, Honoko has also complements the first set of girls and the new players won't be able to get them for quite a while, which is quite unfortunate. Down below, you will see the different rewards you can get. They offer shells and like dark unit tickets. There are 50 tickets to be collected. Just make sure you play the game twice a day and that shouldn't be a problem. And that wraps it up for the DOA part two breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed. The next video will be a showcase for the unit specifically. And yeah, please leave a like, comment and subscribe down below and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.